Hello there! So today, let's learn how to use our protractor in measuring angles. Alright, so first step is to look at the angle first. We have here angle BIG and um, looking at the angle, we have to estimate is this acute, right, or obtuse? Well, looking at how our angle looks like, um, this is less than 90 degrees. So this is an acute angle. Since this is an acute angle, now we have an estimate, a good estimate that our measurement should be less than 90 degrees. So now let's try to use our protractor in measuring this angle. First step is to put our um, center mark of the protractor on the vertex. So the vertex is where the two angles meet. So the vertex here is the point I. So let me now put the center mark on top of the vertex I. There you go. The next step would now be to align our baseline with any of the leg of the angle. You can either align it to the leg BI or to the leg IG. For now, I am going to align it to the leg IG. So baseline with the leg IG. Now that it's properly aligned, you have to ask yourself, which scale am I going to use? Now, the scale that you're going to use is based on where you align your baseline. So we have here this leg, IG. Looking at the leg, IG, we have um, to find where the zero is. So the zero is right here inside. So meaning we have to use the inner scale. Let's now use the inner scale from zero you have to look where the other leg lands, and that is at 70 degrees. So meaning, this angle BIG is 70 degrees. What if I use the other leg? So let's try aligning on the other leg. Okay. So as you can see, this time, our zero with this uh, leg I, IB, our zero is in the outer scale. Earlier, we used the inner scale. So now using the outer scale, we have here from zero up until the other leg, it's still 70 degrees. So no matter what leg you align and what scale you use, you still have to get 70 degrees, okay? Because if you use the wrong scale, say for example, you use the inner scale here, you will get an answer 110 degrees. And 110 degrees is not acute. It is obtuse, okay? So again, a good way to estimate your angle is to first look at it, see if it's acute right obtuse, and then follow the simple steps, align the center mark, the center mark of your protractor with a vertex, and then align the baseline of the protractor with any of the leg, and then start uh, measuring by using the correct scale. So you just have to find where the zero is and then use that scale. That's it. On the next video, let's have more examples on how to measure angles using the protractor.